everybody. Good evening, everybody. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I am with my business BFF again, again, again. Yes. Vanessa Collins in the house. Vanessa Collins in the house. Woo! My business BFF again, again, again. <laughs> I got to turn my volume down. I'm hearing myself as I go. So can everybody still hear me? You hear me? Yeah. Yeah. So we are here on International Women's Day. Oh my goodness, this is incredible. This is awesome. This is fantabulous. Um, happy International Women's Day to you, Vanessa, and all the Same women out you. there in uh, Facebook Live land. We are ecstatic and excited. Um, I have been on as a panelist with Danya Winningham, our business coach, earlier this morning, and that was incredible with a panel of phenomenal people then they came back at 12 and did something else and then Vanessa was on at four o'clock and then I said we need to jump on and talk about it um, um, because we're really um, two women who really kind of were knitly joined together um, basically by a divine appointment I can truthfully say um, it was divine appointment and first off just out of the out of the um, box, I just want to say that when you find someone that has been put in your life for to help you move you to the next level, one, value them, two, appreciate them, and three, let no one come, as they say, what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Uh, because um, those kind of relationships are very, very hard to find. Now, you have to respect the other person's life. They do have a life um, and I have a life and she has a life, but um, there is something about when women come together and we've learned this even more so. We've been kind of in our bubble for the last uh, seven, eight, nine years now and uh, having a wonderful time. We, we Skyped a long time ago. We used to, I used to be in my pajamas, she'd be in her pajamas and we'd be doing business stuff, um, Skyping a long time ago. And um, it has grown to this platform and Facebook Live. So I really encourage you to really, really reach out and find and locate and, and really pray and ask God to really send you um, um, connections in, in business, especially in business, in life too, of course, but in business as well. So um, I hope uh, Vanessa feels the same, um, but I, I didn't even introduce myself, but I'm Julia Royston. BK Royston Publishing, Julia Royston Enterprises, and excited to be on this evening with uh, my good friend, Vanessa Collins. Vanessa, you want to go ahead and, and say something in regards to International Women's Day, what it's meant to you today? Well, welcome, everyone. Welcome, everyone. All right, first, Julia, I'm trying to get all my technical ducks in a row. I'm trying to find the stream so I can share it, so we can get it out there. Let me see. Okay, is are we coming in on your page, Julia? Yeah. So I'm getting like stuff coming back. Yeah. Can you hear me now? I hear you. I just I'm okay. trying to find the post so I can share uh, before okay. we get started because I know they're going to be uh, some people, some things that we talk about this okay. evening. Or is it on the BK Royston page? Let me see, let me see, let's see. We're live now, you're on now. Yay! Let me tag you in it, Vanessa. Okay, yeah, Facebook's just trying not to be loyal, but that's okay. Happy International Women's Day. I'm so excited to be here with uh, my business BFF, Julia, and as she said, we really had a, a, a just a divine connection, just a, a God thing, uh, it, just crazy, just crazy. Uh, and we were talking about today, uh, this has been about a year since she shared with me uh, one of her uh, most precious gifts, and that was Danielle Winningham. And so uh, we have been I've been hanging with Julia. It's been about eight years now. Uh, and we've been uh, working with Danielle for a year. And it's just amazing how much my life has changed in the last eight years. And just 
how important it is to have sisterhood and to have somebody, uh, anybody that understands what you are going through. And when I say going through, I don't mean in a bad way, but understand your vision, your dreams, as you're building your business, uh, as you're writing your books. And of course, those are the two sweet spots that we deal with. But whatever it is that you're trying to do, making sure that you have somebody that is in your corner, somebody that understands. It's good to have some cheerleaders. And all that is great, but you need to have somebody that understands some of the technical stuff, some of the nitty gritty. Now, Julia has so many different gifts and talents. When it comes to her singing, I can't help her. I can't help her at all, okay? I can't, as the old folks would say, I wouldn't be able to carry a tune if it was uh, in a bucket around my neck, okay? So I, I can't help her with the singing. But when it comes to publishing and business stuff, we can bounce information, bounce out ideas off of each other. And we have both grown. Our, both of our businesses have grown as a result of that. So, you know, it, it, uh, you're, uh, you're exactly right. I mean, you know, but some of the things, of course, that, that Vanessa does is the technology end of it. And I think that's kind of where we, I, I'm into technology too, but there's some things that she finds out and uh, really discovers that I'm like, tell me how to do that. Show me how to do that. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. So I got to get in your class. I'm going to be in the next class. <laughs> <laughs> Because we're really, um, you know, really learning and growing. And that, that's one of the incredible things that, that having people in your life should actually do, should help you grow and learn and expand and um, broaden your horizons. And um, Vanessa and I have been doing conferences together. We've been doing workshops together. We've been doing retreats together. And I'll be totally honest with you. I don't really want to do one unless she can do it. So if she says, I have something else scheduled, I rearrange it. It's just, it's just the way it is. It is just the way it is. Now, I'll have other people eventually go on, but, um, and we added Brian to the last, to the last group. But um, really, uh, honestly, you know, when you're really comfortable with somebody and you know that that person is going to bring it. I mean, when, when Vanessa comes, Teaching is her her thing, her baby, her number one. Uh, preaching is too, but her pre teaching is her number one. And you know, I have my singing, but teaching, you know, that's her thing. And I sit and I root her on. So we have combined forces. Um, I had previously scheduled a writers retreat, but we realized that sometimes that's really limiting if you have a live event where people actually have to physically come to you. So why don't we bring the workshop to everybody? Yeah. Oh, we got this platform, we got these this technology, we have this information, that's a given, but we have this platform and technology. Why have to uh, make people get on planes, trains, and automobiles or whatever? Although I love to hug people and I love groups and we'll have that. But for this one, especially since we're in the first quarter of the year, let's get the information to the people. And then if we need to have an actual physical live event, we'll do that next, which we do have next coming up. But first off, we want to really talk about the, the Writer Summit 17. Writer Summit 17. That's the bit.ly link, just in case you're like, whatever they have and I'm having it. I'm going to it. And so what we have um, for you, instead of having a writer's retreat where you have the transportation and I got to get lodging and everything, come in your pajamas. It doesn't matter because it's going to be a Friday evening after work and a Saturday morning. So it's going to actually be two days and it's totally virtual and you will be able to get the replays. You will be able um, to be in a private Facebook group that we're going to go Facebook live to that group. So we're going to have opportunities and do you not know there are ability for us to have to actually have breakout rooms 
can you believe it? Break out rooms. So, yes. you know, that's the tech diva over there. That's the, the queen of technology. She can't wait, can't wait. Like, well, how are we going to do it? Because I had planned on really doing one-on-one -on -one coaching. And she says, oh, we got a way we can do that. You know, that's the reason why God puts people like that in your life. So that you can actually do uh, all the different things that you want to do. So I really encourage you and really invite you to really be a part of this. So some of you say, well, when are you having your next one? Well, well when are you gonna, when are you, this is it. Jump in now, jump in early. Because if you keep going on and vacations and, and graduations and all that happens, make the investment now. Take your tax money and say, okay, I don't have to get a hotel. I don't have to fly there. I can come in the room for $59 for two days $59 for two days and the replay if you register and the replay if you register $59 for two days, the private group, oh my goodness, and you have two of us who have published books, who publish more than 100, no, more than 150 books. And, and I have 50 some authors, she has 20 some, 30, whatever. And so, you know, we know all about publishing and we can help you with that process. So this is an ability for you in two days to get jump started, to get moving. Now on my part is really the writing part, really making sure that you're set up and ready to go um, writing wise and getting that moving as far as writing. Vanessa will jump into as well with <laughs> writing, but my end is really making sure that you're, you're going with the writing and outlining and, and so tell people now that Friday night, March 24th, and then that Saturday morning, March 25th, okay, we'll get back to you. I'll have lunch with you that evening. We're going to be about 1 o'clock, uh, 1 or 2. Okay, on Julia, clock. before you go any further, we got to do a technology check here because I want to make sure everybody is hearing this. Everybody is getting this information. Uh, and so when I click the view stream on Facebook, because I'm still having a hard time finding it, uh, it says that it's unavailable to me. I just want to check and make sure you're not streaming to a particular group. Maybe oh gosh. I'm on my I'm on my regular personal page. I see you. You're live in my Facebook. What group. is the the bottom say in terms of the audience? Does it have the little globe, or is it just particular people on that post? Oh wait a minute. Okay, so on my Zoom, it had the volume down. So maybe that's a problem. Now I can hear you. I just can't find you on Facebook. <laughs> okay, well go to my go to my page. Because I'm I looking did. at myself right now on I did and when um Okay, did you did you see me tag you on my Facebook? It is it, it's not letting me get to it. I'm trying to see where uh where are you streaming to? Is this, uh, it's telling me that it's not available or that I'm not part of the audience, that I'm not in the audience. So I just want to make sure. Okay, go to your instant message. See, and then we got to work all these, uh, got to work all the technology issues out. Yep, I'm going to share my screen with you so you can see what I see uh, on your page. And uh, if you can, can see the screen, this is the first, um, that's the first post. I can't see the stream. Right, but let me show you what, share. Okay, so you take your share off. Mm-hmm. And let me share my screen. Do you see my screen? I do. Now, uh, right next to the time where it has that little, it said like a star, what's up under that little carrot? Open up that little carrot that's right under your name. Let's we'll see what the uh, audience is. Oh, see, it's just close friends. Yep. No, I had public. No, well, okay. Okay, so. I now, see, yeah, see. Okay, now you see me now? Okay. Yeah, because before it was just a little star. 
So now you got the little glow. And I got the world. Okay. Yeah, you got I'm the sorry. world. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. I'm like, yeah, okay. Because you know what? And when I went live, it said, how do you want it to be? And I said public. But uh, Facebook and Zoom, they didn't talk. Okay. They didn't talk. They didn't talk. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. See that, you know, the Bible says two are better than one. If one fall down, the other one's there to help the other one up. <laughs> so yeah. that's what happens. Okay, so as I was saying before, and hopefully more people will come in the room and um, be with us, but um, we're in the first quarter of the year. We're in the time where people are, of course, you know, the, still the, the very first part of the year. So, um, you know, we, we have an opportunity. We've got like nine months to go, nine months on down. So you really wanted that book done in 2016. So now in the first quarter, you can make that happen and get that jump started on the way. We took from the writer's retreat that we had planned and eliminated the travel, eliminated the hotel, eliminated all of that and said, why don't we open it up for the world to come? for anyone to come in our audiences to be able to have the ability to join us and to be in the room with us, get the vast information that we know because between the two of us, we published nearly a hundred authors and between the two of us, we published nearly 200 books and between the two of us, we've written 35, 40 books. Between the two of us, we've had a lot of experience doing a lot of different things. So you will have the opportunity on March 24th, we'll start that evening about 7 p.m., 7 to 9.30, 7 to 10. You'll have the opportunity, if you have notebooks, if you have started writing and you're like, well, I put that notebook and slid it in a drawer, get that notebook out, get it out of that drawer, get it out, we're gonna jumpstart you and get you moving in the right direction for your writing. Now, I'm gonna kinda handle the writing piece, although Vanessa will jump right in, and, and help us as much as possible. She's even devised a way and came up with a way that we can actually have breakout rooms so that we can be divided and you can actually get your one-on-one -on -one coaching session because that is one of the highlights to me of the writer's retreat of being able to get one-on-one -on -one with the actual publisher. Let them see, review, talk about your book one-on-one. -on -one. There are general sessions that we'll do and then we'll have opportunity for you to be um, have a one-on-one -on -one time. That is incredible and definitely work, worth every single solid dime. So for $69, oh my goodness, can you imagine having a one-on-one -on -one coaching session? No matter what the time is, you couldn't get that for $69. You just, it just not happening. So therefore, um, so therefore you have the opportunity to do that. I'll give out the bit.ly more than once and, um, but it's bit.ly forward slash writer summit. So writer summit, S U M M 1 T I T 17. That's writer summit 17. It will have the ability for you to be able to, um, you'll have a private Facebook group, all that good stuff. Now, I've added a bonus and I'll get that at the end, but I want um, Vanessa to really talk about um, writing and. Hey, Erica, how you doing? Thank you for joining us. Um, really talk about um, your ends and what you're gonna be bringing for writers because writing is a business and it's not only just a business card, but it is a business. But you need some other pieces, even additionally from the writing. Even though your book is not finished, there are still some things that you need to start planning and getting in place even before your um, book is finished. Take it away, Vanessa. several reasons for that one it is going to cause you to have some accountability uh, it is going to it is going to make you hopefully uh, really take this thing serious and know that there are people that are waiting to hear your story 
one of the things that I hear, one of the, the biggest complaints sometimes that I hear from aspiring writers is that idea that nobody wants to hear my story. I don't write good enough. I don't know enough. And that is why it's important for you, fresh out the gate, to let people know your story is coming. And guess what you're going to find? You're going to have people on your timeline, on your Twitter, whatever it is, and they're going to say, cool, that is wonderful. Can't wait to hear it. Now, that may sound like, you know, nothing right now. That may sound like, oh, that's no really big thing. But trust me, when you decide to start writing your book, every one of those, uh, you know, pom-poms that go up in the air, that is going to encourage you. The other reason why you want to get it out there is because you have to understand that with your book, you become a business. You become a business. You have a product that you have to sell uh, because, I mean, you could write just for the fun of writing, but that probably is not the reason, uh, that's not part of the reason why God would have you write that book. Uh, part of the stewardship of, of writing that book is the business that he has given you, the product, the service that he's given you. And you need to start letting people know, hey, get your money together. It's time to get your money together because my book is coming out. Now, other businesses do it all the time, right? They do it all the time. This is what? This is March go in any store and there are Easter baskets. Who buys an Easter basket 40 days before Easter? I mean, Lent just started. So we're at least, what, 48 days out from Easter? Who buys Easter stuff this soon? Not many people, okay? But they got it out early because they want you to know. They want you to plan. They want you to have it in your head Okay, Easter's coming around. Hmm, how many baskets do I need to buy this year? And you walk in the, you walk in the store and you start thinking about your grandchildren and your nieces and your nephews and who's who's an outgrown a basket and who who needs a stuffed animal this year. It's all about getting you in the mindset to buy the book. So you have to do that same thing. That's one of the things that I encourage uh, our authors to do when they get that book cover. When you get that front book cover, even when you're choosing a book cover and you get back from the graphic artist, you know, three different versions of your book cover, put that out there on social media. Let people uh, have some input about what book cover they should pick. Book on um, what book cover you should pick. All of that is part of promotion. And all of that starts when, even before, but when you first start writing the book. And we'll be covering um, some things that I call promote your book fast uh, and some things, things that you need to do as an author to start selling your book. And we're going to also share with you some secrets on how you can do your book signing without any out-of-pocket money. You can do that first big book order and not have to come out of any money out of your pocket if you do it right. Oh, my goodness. I, I, I can't even imagine. I'm looking forward to it. A book signing without out-of-pocket expense? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Now, you know, um, another thing is um, in my last writing classes that we took a, what I call a field trip on Amazon. We started looking at actual book covers and actually what that looks like. And one of those key things really is to get that um, out there to your social media audience, to build the hunger for it, the, the wet, the appetite, ooh, 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 ooh. That's what marketers do all the time. That's what the stores do all the time. You know, that's what um, March 17th is not until next week, but the green stuff for um, St. Patrick's Day is already out there. It's already available. Time continues to move. Time goes on. Time goes. 
And if you do not take and stop and say, all right, if I don't do this now, oh, I'll wait till later. And you'll look up, it'll be 2018. You'll look up, it'll be 2019. It'll look up like uh, an author I knew not too long ago. It was 40 years and they still didn't have it done. 20 years and they still didn't have it done. Now, of course, for, uh, for those of you who are in business, a book to me is incredible and essential. And we'll talk even more about uh, what that book could possibly mean. But one of the things, it's a stream of income. It is a part of a stream of income. And I know one of our last retreats, Vanessa really shared how she has um, accrued a five digit, no, five figure um, income on one book. She didn't have 10 or 100 just from one book. So, but if you don't have the one book, you haven't finished the one book. No, let's go back. If you haven't started the one book. <laughs> right, right, right. One figure, let alone five figures, if you haven't started it. Now, I know that I, I posted on Facebook not too long ago about, so what's really stopping you? And a lot of that was exactly what um, Vanessa said. People were honest enough to say fear, and they were saying, um, I don't write well enough. Well, my fifth grade teacher told me I didn't write well enough either. And, um, you know, and, and I don't know if I really have something to say. Well, you're talking every single solitary day. You have something to say. As long as you're living, as the old folks who say living and breathing as you <laughs> live, you definitely have yes. something to say. But uh, recently, and who knows uh, what I will do with this, but this phrase has really been in my head, is that one of the reasons uh, fear, of course, the acronym we've always seen is false evidence appearing real, but some mm -hmm. of the evidence is real. It's not false. It is true. And um, so what has come to me of late is uh, the one way to fight fear is forward. Just move mm -hmm. forward. Just do it. Um, especially if you have guides to walk you through. People who are experienced, people who are referred. If you follow me on social media, You'll see people all the time, thank you, Julia Royce and whatever. That's not really accolades uh, uh, to me as much as it is, I, I do what I say that I would do. And I'm very thankful. I strive to be a good steward of what I do and help people's dreams come true. Mm -hmm. And so that's a part of my purpose. But for others, the fear is holding you back. So and you know, Julia, the, the thing that gets me about that is Oftentimes, we are comparing our rough draft to someone else's final version. And so you look at the books on your shelf and you think, oh my goodness, I can never write like this. Well, guess what? They can't either, okay? They have, those books have been edited. They have been proofread. They have, if you saw some of those original manuscripts, you would be like, oh my goodness, <laughs> you know, do they really write this bad? Uh, but that's the thing, you know, once you understand the process, hopefully that will help you get rid of some of that fear. And that's the thing that I think is so worth coming to the Writer Summit is so that you can understand the process so that you can find out what it, you know, what's coming up. We fear the unknown. We fear that thing that we don't know. And so we think, okay, well, in order for me to write a book, I'm going to have to write, you know, day and night. It's going to take me forever. In my writer's boot camp, we do a system where you can get your rough draft written in 20 hours, five hours a week, over four weeks. We're not talking about no long period of time. We're not talking about, you know, this is going to take you forever and ever. So we're going to kick that out the window. Well, it's going to cost so much money and I don't have the money. There's so many ways to, to get around that. Um, you can, once you write it, you can publish it yourself. You got to have some time. You're going to still spend some money. But if you decide to do that, you know, we, we got you there. Julia coaches. I coach uh, in that area. If you uh, want to publish it, there are ways you can raise money. Julia, you remember Dr. Letitia Wright telling us about the guy on uh, GoFundMe. 
Mm-hmm. That raised a million dollars or something for a book, a sick man book. Right. Okay. There are ways that you can raise money for your book. And I think that's one of the biggest things, Julia, that is important. And why it's important that you get in communities like this, where when you come up with a project, you want to do something, that you are around people that can help give you some ideas. Because Julia, I didn't always have this. So I thought that, okay, well, if I don't have the money, then, you know, I just don't have the money. This is, you know, I just, I just can't do it. Now that my entrepreneurial spirit <laughs> has been invigorated. Now when I run into the thing of, okay, I want to do this and I don't have the money, I now turn into that, that turn to that entrepreneurial mind. And what do entrepreneurs do? What do businesses do when a business doesn't have money that it needs? You know what it does? they raise the capital they will they'll put stocks on the market they'll do you know an ipo they'll do whatever it is they need to do sell a business they'll do whatever Uh, you know they'll increase the prices for next year they'll you know you've worked in corporate you work in corporate you know what you do in your department you know what happens in your department when they look in and they see, okay, there's going to be a shortfall. We need, we're going to be X millions of dollars down. We're going to raise the price of this item. We're going to cut this out and we're going to come up with this money. Well, you need to do the same thing. You need to come to the summit, find out for what fits you. How much is it going to cost to get this book done? And then raise the money. That's right. Make some cakes. <laughs> well, you know we do. We we um we 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 find the money for what we want. So I I I'm I'm like this. How bad do you want it? How bad um a yard sale? Whatever it takes. There are all types of ways to raise the money. You probably got clothes in your closet. You could have a yard sale to help you with that. You probably and you know, Julia, got- you don't even have to have a yard sale now. They got the apps. Oh, they yeah, got the, well, that's, you know, they got the things. Right. So can, can, I know every time I open my Facebook, there it is. I'm selling this. And there's the picture of it. And then they exchange the money on Facebook. And there you go. You ship it to them. They come and pick it. I mean, it's like, you know, I ain't even got to have a yard sale. You can raise money to do anything that you want. And this is the other thing. When you have a book, and I know, Julia, you've told your authors this. I'm always telling my authors this. If you have a book, you never have to be broke. Yeah. You ne- As long as you have a book. I have a coaching client, uh, and she keeps three books in her purse at all times. <laughs> she keeps three books in her purse. Because when you, once you have written a book, one, people are going to see you in a whole different light. It's just, it's amazing. It's, we can't explain it. When you do your book, you're going to come back and say, Julia and Vanessa, y'all were just right. You, you were right. When you tell somebody that you have written a book, they light up. It's like, really? And if you have the book in hand, if you can give them the book, and I'm sitting here like looking around for some of my books, but if you can... If you can give them the book, if you can pull the book out of your purse, Uh you will make a sale. You will make a sale. And I'm I'm telling you, I'm telling you, if, if money is your problem, you really need to get your book done. You absolutely need to get, absolutely, there it is. You need to get your book done. Uh, because I tell you, you will always, that's like a, that's an instant $10, $15 right there. All you got to do is convert it. It's, it's like a traveler's check. Remember them American Express traveler's checks? Don't leave home without it. Don't leave home without it. <laughs> 
you know, that's one of my pet peeves about promotion and, uh, and you know, people talking about, well, how am I going to promote? Well, first off, boo, do you have inventory with you? Do you have books on hand? Is it, even if you can't put it in your purse, can you, they, are there some in the car? Don't go, no, well, I don't go anywhere without books, CDs, everything. Don't put them in the window. Don't put them in the window, them in, the window in the car. Time. Don't put them in the window in the car. Yeah, I made that mistake. Don't put them in the put them in the trunk. No, don't put them in the window now. Okay, yeah, no. yeah. I have luggage for it. You know, uh, my cousin tells me all the time. You know what, beauty about you, we don't have to carry boxes. We roll everything. Everything rolls in luggage. But it's um, just always having inventory on hand. But we can't have inventory if we haven't started. If you don't have the book, we don't have inventory if we haven't finished. And you can't finish anything, you haven't started. So join us on March 24th. Join us on March 25th. We will have the replay. You can see over and over and over again. You can ask us questions. You can uh, join us in the comfort of your own home with technology on your phone. You will be able to ask us any questions possible. Help, we'll help you get jump started and move forward so that you can get that message to the masses, so that you can turn your words into wealth. Because if you have a business already, there are people asking you that same question over and over and over again. So what if you had that in a book? And not only those answers in a book, and it was available to sell. You know how this book came about? Write that book now because that woman over there told me, you know, Julie, as many times that you should have a book about writing. I'm like, really? You think so? Mm. It was probably the best book. I've written 30. But this was probably the best one I've ever done because people ask me consistently over and over and over again. So how do I write the book? So how to get started now? Let me just tell you this. For the first 20 people who register for the Writer Summit, you will get the Write That Book Now. And then I have a, another surprise. I'm not even going to tell you the other surprise, but everybody will get to have the register, though. So bit.ly forward slash Writer Summit 17. Writer Summit 17. Thank you, Erica, for putting in the group. It's March 24th and 25th from the comfort of your own home. You can go to uh, bit.ly forward slash Writer Summit 17 and get the information you need to jumpstart and jumpstart that book. Now, part two, and then we're going to get on out of your way. Um, on April 1st, on April 1st, we are going to have a live event just that next weekend after that. So after the Writer's uh, Summit, then we're going to come back and have a writing business, writing tech mastermind. Oh my goodness. Whoa! Okay, yeah. so masterminds are, we're going to do presentations at the mastermind, but the mastermind is, is a little bit different. Um, I, I enjoy masterminds because one, they're small. So for the in-person attendees, we only have 10 slots and two of them are already gone. So we only have eight slots left for the uh, Business Writing um, Tech Mastermind, which is gonna be eight, April 1st, which is gonna be in Louisville, but there's only eight slots left. So let me just tell you a little bit differently the difference between the Business Writing and Technology Mastermind as opposed to the Writer Summit. One of the things, the Writer Summit is really for people, even people who have written books before, we're really gonna be focused about writing and the business of writing. Um, the mastermind, we're really going to be focusing, still talking about writing, but we're really going to be moving forward from people who have a book already to moving them through their technology and taking book sales, book promotion, uh, book highlights, and where you can transform uh, additional products and services. More of the book business of it, even to the next level. The Writer Summit, we really want to focus on the writing of the book, getting the book started, the book writing. But the mastermind, we're going to get down to, uh, as Danielle Winningham says, pen to paper. How are we going to move? What our plan of action is? Putting those action steps into motion. What that actually takes to take your book to the next level for exposure, 
for promotion. And then our tech queen is also going to be talking about taking your technology to the next level as well. We'll get some intro things, get some beginning things, get people in the writing mode for um, the Writer Summit. But then the mastermind the next weekend is really going to take that to the next level. I'm excited about the mastermind because, as a matter of fact, Vanessa and I have actually had masterminds and didn't realize we had masterminds until it was actually over with. <laughs> we went to Chicago and she had a, a wonderful business conference and we looked around and we had a mastermind because we had people who were really serious about what they were doing, serious about their businesses. They had a vision for where they wanted to go. So the mastermind is not, I'm introing, I'm just learning about um, writing. That's for the writer summit. Please come to that. Now the mastermind is really for those of you who say, okay, I have a book already, but I really, now what <laughs> I have a book and it's either not moving or it is moving, but I want to continue to move it to the next level. What are the things I need to do? What are the steps I need to take to really take that digital blueprint for, for my book to the next level? Um, Julia, how do we um, not only take this one book, so how do we expand it, do some product creation ideas and some promotion ideas and get our promotion calendar and our schedule together. So that's kind of the difference. I know it's kind of back to back, but you have to start early in the year getting your plans out because otherwise it'll be half of the year over and you, you'll be like, oh, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late for an important date. Um, you're late for sales, you're late, so your book is not available. So that's the reason why March, we really want to make sure the book is moving and ready so that when summer, when people are out and about and you're out and about on vacation, I've got a book, it's available, it's there. But then you want to continue, and we'll talk about that at the mastermind, of continuing to make money off of just that one book and how that, how that happens. Vanessa, you want to add something, anything to that? Encourage people for that. Yay! Yay! That's it. You know, that's the thing that I love is, okay, so now I have a book. Now what? How do I blow this book up? And that's what we're going to talk about in the mastermind. How do you go those next steps? How do you turn this book into your own five-figure book deal? What are some of the other pieces that you need? And the great thing that I really love about Masterminds is that it really lends itself for collaboration because you will need other people to really take your book to the next level. Because the, the big thing, the only reason why you haven't sold more books, if you are an author already, uh, you know, if you haven't finished writing your book, then we know why you haven't sold more books. But if you are an author and you already have a book, there's one reason, one main reason why you haven't sold more books. And that's because you haven't been exposed to more audiences. And the key to collaboration is having those win-win situations where you can get exposed to more people. And that was one of the reasons, you know, even here on, uh, on Facebook, on social media. Okay, so we have, you know, Julia's people will be able to watch this, uh, watch this replay. Well, now that I shared it, my friends will be able to watch this replay. And I just saw that uh, um, Vessa Oliver just joined. Hey, Vessa, how are you? Vessa is the newest member of Digital Mastery for Women. Uh, she just joined in between these teleseminars, in between Danielle's teleseminar uh, and this one. Uh, and so she's watching it. And then if she shares the video, her friends can watch it. And that is why collaboration is so important and why you need to be in mastermind situations with people that you can help and that can help you. And today as we are celebrating International Women's Day, uh, I just, oh my goodness, if you have a chance to go back, go to Danielle Winningham's Facebook page and look at 
some of the panel discussions that happened. Oh my goodness, super powerful, just so powerful because as women, we have such powerful stories. Now, many of these women that were on the broadcast, uh, Julia, we've been, you know, we've been hanging with these ladies for the last eight or nine months. There are still things that we don't know about each other. There's still stories. I caught the last piece of um, uh, Sophia's uh, presentation this morning, and it blew me away. It was just like, wow, you know, oh my goodness, that story needs to be told. Somebody needs to hear that. So of course we've been talking about why you need to write your book because it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be beneficial for you both from a financial standpoint and all of that. But I want you to think about the people you're gonna help, the people who need to hear your story. Well, I'm writing fiction. I'm not writing a nonfiction book. The people who need to be entertained. I mean, think about the books that you have read. That just made you feel good. That, you know, it was a fiction book. It was a short story. It was something that, you know, it may have had a great life lesson or it may not have. It just may have been something silly at the time, but it made you feel good. It put a smile on your face. Somebody is waiting for that. What if that author had decided not to do that? I would be so mad if Jack Canfield had decided not to write the success principles. I would be super mad because that is one of my favorite books. That book has helped me so much in my business and I can name a ton of other books just like you can. You can name a ton of books that has helped you along the way, whether it's been um, spiritual, whether it's been in business. Can you imagine if T.D. Jakes had just turned over and said, uh, woman thou art loose? Nah, don't. Nah. Let me just turn over and go back to sleep. That must have been something I ate. How many people have been just set free from, you know, that teaching that was a book, that was a conference, that was, that he just blew up. There are people waiting on your message too. Most definitely. I mean, uh, you know, I, I think about, you know, people who 40 years ago didn't know who T.D. Jakes existed in uh, West Virginia, probably one of the most uh, impoverished and neglected states in the entire uh, United States of America as West Virginia is. And for him to now be a household name is, is simply incredible. And he tells the story of taking the last uh, bit of money that he had and he had saved it. They were putting a down payment on a house and he's like, God, this book has got to go because my wife is going to be so uh, upset with me. But he took um, his savings and actually did the woman out loose. He really took it from his Sunday school, seven uh, women Sunday school class and exploded. Can I guarantee everybody's gonna have that happen? I don't know, I can't say that, no. But uh, can I tell you, no, it won't happen if you don't do it? I can tell you, yeah, it won't happen if you don't do it. <laughs> it will not happen. I can guarantee you, it will not happen if you don't have the book written. I can guarantee you that it, it will not be heard or not be seen or not happen if you don't have it, because I do not know. I wish I knew the future and could guarantee all the authors I meet, but I can guarantee you one thing. If you don't write it and we don't publish it, if the world, even if your community knows about it, that's more people that know about it right now because the book is not written. So um, you're exactly right. Um, I tell people, especially those uh, people who are writing autobiographical stories and things that are, um, that could be based on coaching and their business, but also a very, very personal to them, that it is very, um, it, it's it, it very emotionally attached to it. But I tell people two things. One, 
you are for another generation or the next generation, you are helping them know the telltale signs. They may not all believe you or may not all understand, but at least you have that out of the telltale signs of warning signs and things that you could, should look for. And then the second um, group or of people that I really tell that, that message is definitely for those who are already in a bad situation and they need the courage to come out. They need to know that mm -hmm. they, you survive. They need to know that it will be. It's hard, it doesn't feel good, but you survive, so they will survive. You made it, so they can make it. And people need that today. They need to know, they need to know that um, this is what happened. And, you know, we don't necessarily have to tell every single solitary gory detail because just one bad incident, if it was bad one time, it's bad anytime. But to know in the end that you survived, that you're looking at your world totally differently than you looked at it before, that your um, outlook has totally changed and how you did it. Not just saying, oh, it changed for me. Well, how did you do it? Because you could be saving someone's life. You could be yep. um, making someone's world differently. Okay, so I know you're asking, so how do I get to the mastermind? Now, the first one, of course, was the Writer Summit 17, which is March 24th and 25th. But the second one is bit.ly forward slash writing tech mastermind 17. And that is the mastermind. That mastermind is $39 if you're virtual. So if you're just in the comfort of your own home, and as I said before, I only have slots for eight more people because two are already taken already and we hadn't even gone live and really started promoting it yet and two seats are already gone. So we only have eight and that's not, I'm not gonna say we got eight and then we go, oh, now I got eight more. No. I just have eight more. That's all I got. <laughs> she made I sure she got a room that we didn't have no overflow. So we don't have no more chance. We don't have no more seat. It's just eight. <laughs> so uh, when the eight are gone, they just gone, and, and that's just the way it is, and then it'll be closed. But there are eight more seats at and in for the in-person attendees. It's $69, and, of course, that includes – um, of course, that'll be a na nice package and gift package for me, for those who do attend, and um, there'll be lunch included in that. So that Saturday, April 1st, is from 10 to 2, and um, on March 24th and 25th, that's two days, two days for 59, and that's totally virtual. And we will have um, advertisement continue to go for the next three weeks, and it's exciting because you can um, decide to be a part and jump in there with us and come on board and really be a part of a writer summit. So you don't have to worry about getting on a plane and although I love to travel and get in a hotel room and all that good stuff, the writer summit is totally virtual. The mastermind is only available for eight seats in person, but of course, you know, virtually we can have as many as we need to. So um, sign up, sign up, sign up. Um, Vanessa and I will be continuing to promote that. We'll have the graphics out very shortly to continue to promote it. I always love coming on live with um, Vanessa. We seem to do very, very well always together. We're buddies and, and partners in this uh, writing and technology um, uh, business and industry and um, this is a wonderful opportunity on International Women's Day to be able to come to women. And of course, men, you know, you're able to join us too, of course, always. We don't leave out the men at all. But on this, specifically on International Women's Day, to really encourage women to invest in yourself. Um, honestly, for 59 the prices we have, $39 for the mastermind for virtual and $69 if you can get to Louisville is not a, a pair of shoes. That's not a pair of shoes. Because we know that, you know, the ones with the stuff on the bottoms of them, I'm not even gonna go there. You know, that's definitely not no $69 shoes. So I encourage you to make the sacrifice, to make the investment. People ask all the time, make the investment in you. Make the investment in your future. Make the investment in your voice. Your voice is heard. You have people out here that are able to help you with experience with that are referred, that are credible, that have um, people 
who will um, speak for you and say, yeah, you really need to work with them. Yeah, you should work with them and, and refer it all the time. So I really encourage you reach out to us, bit.ly forward slash writer summit 17 or the mastermind bit.ly forward slash writing tech mastermind 17. Now I also encourage you of course, to follow Vanessa Collins LLC on all social media, everywhere you want to be. She's a Twitter beast, so follow her there. Um, she does have Digital Mastery for Women. Specifically, it's a phenomenal program. I am a member, and I do recommend this message. Uh, and I do uh, recommend, and I, I, I am a client, I am a customer, I am a client uh, in Digital Mastery for Women. $25 a month, it is incredible what all you can learn and all you can be a part of, all the articles she refers and all the, come on, let's jump on Zoom and I'll help you get it done things. Let's get and, it done. Uh, let's get it done. Now, don't get that twisted. Um, she's, not, uh, you know, and it's not free and all that good stuff, but it is there with incredible help and replays in the group especially to help you continue to move your your message and your business forward to be in, increasingly profitable in all that you need so I, I the resources are out there you know back in the day we were like oh what are we gonna do it oh how are we gonna get it done oh what are we gonna and there are people out there and available and you have to make up your mind i'm gonna stop this woulda shoulda coulda i thought well i don't know Who's out there to help me? We're out there to help you. Who's not? Oh, uh, we we have it for you and available to you. So reach out to us if you have any questions. Of course, you can reach out to me on uh, bkroystonpublishing.com or I'm everywhere all on uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, everywhere you want to be. Uh, reach out to me and find me. Join us on March 24th and 25th uh, for the uh, Writer Summit 17. And then the next week on April 1st, we're trying to get it out in the first 90, 91 days of the year. So you'll be well on your way because in summertime, I'm going to be vending. I'm going to be everywhere. All, you know, Vanessa calls me, where are you at? Are you on a plane? Where are you at now? I'm somewhere. I'm moving. I'm driving. I'm going. <laughs> and then you want to be ready for fall, for Christmas. Oh my goodness. Look at your calendar see what's out there and available and you don't want to miss out on those opportunities to be ready and um vanessa collins as, as they say in church pastor do you have any final remarks i just want to encourage you guys listen this year it's about getting it done all right so if you have been thinking about a book if god has told you to write a book and you know all the stuff that we go through that we say and if you haven't gotten that book done, now is the time to make a decision. We have taken all of your excuses away. The writer's, the writer's Summit is $59. You can bake two pound cakes and sell them and get $59. So $59, no excuse. If you are an author, and you need to take your business to the next level, you want to take that book to the next level, if you're here in the Louisville area, $69. We're talking about what? Six book sales? That's if your book is, is you know, $10, 10 or $12, seven book sales. That's not a whole lot of money. Let's, let's decide this year that this is our year. I know for me, listen, Julia, this is it. Yeah. This is my year. Yeah, yeah. This is my year. So I want to partner with you. We want to partner with you and help you make this your year as well. Let's make it happen. bit.ly forward slash writer summit 17. Writer summit, S U M M I T 17, March 24th and March 25th, April 1st. Writing Tech Mastermind 17. Let's make it happen. Any questions, reach out to us. You all have a fantastic rest of your Wednesday. Enjoy. Be blessed. We love you. Bye-bye.